As we get ready to start the third set here of this national championship, Martin, tell us about some of the highlights of the second set. Well, what happened there was um, you know, Stulak and Anderson started to find a little bit of their baseline offense. Uh, they were they, they stayed very patient for a while until they started feeling a little more accurate with their shots. And then uh, at the same time, uh, if we look at the statistics, um, we, we see that uh, Cochran and Marino made 13 baseline errors in that second set while they only made four in the first set. Um, so that's a big turnaround. Uh, Anderson Stulak cut down their errors from 12 to 9. Uh, the other thing was um, in the first set, uh, Bill Anderson uh, only got 60% of his serves in, although he didn't have that many serves. But uh, you, you just can't fault uh, that many times in this game. You can't give away points. Um, in the second set, his serve picked up nicely. Um, Marino hasn't missed a serve yet this match. He's the only one. Once again, the Australian formation, Stulak serving, his partner Anderson at the net, and once again, it is effective. Yeah, Cochran just missing that drive. Even if it had been in, though, um, it's a relatively easy ball for, for Stulak to play off the back screen. See the Canadian contingent of fans right behind the Bill Anderson sitting in the bleachers, uh, we had cheering Mike Stulak on. They all play up at the same club in Toronto, so we know who they're rooting for. Do you think the Canadian national flag will come out here in the third set? Yeah, I'm not sure. A few weeks from now, there's a tournament up in Toronto, which is the Canadian Nationals. It's a little smaller version of this, but um, it's still a national tournament. Great volley by Mike. And Mike Cochran following his drive in and finishing off the point. Great first volley by yeah, Stulak. Yeah, it was a phenomenal return. It was so low. Come on! And, uh, I still managed to get it back. That's a big hole to serve there. Stulak had to work for it, but the Australian formation seemed to work. Yeah, the Australian formation, some great volleying because uh, Mike Cochran hit some great drives that game. The players not taking any time whatsoever, just immediately changing courts and Everybody's very revved up here in the third set. They're playing for a national championship. They should be as we see a, the fans filing back in for the third set here. Well, they probably went to get warm at the break. Oh, let cord winner. Sometimes these matches can turn on little shots like that. They're basically unreturnable. They're switching at the net again. Oh, Mike Harkin looked like he had something in his eye. I guess he's okay. 
Just solid at the net, missing very few walls. Phenomenal return, a great serve by Cochran. It really was a great serve. Mike uh, Stulak must have just uh, anticipated and gambled where he was going to serve it and just jumped on it. We mentioned Anderson getting more offensive there. He takes the ball early and goes right at Mar Marino, who makes an error. Here's a break point opportunity. back of the line and we have a break of serve and Stulak and Anderson lead to love third set. seen very few drop shots in the match. Part of the reason why is the these athletes are so quick that they run everything down. Yeah, the footing is so good on these courts that uh, they, they can pretty much get to anything. Uh, and it's hard not to telegraph a, a drop shot. You have to be right on the net. And, uh, as soon as their opponents see them up there and ready to drop, they're on their way. the net, but then it bounced long, so it was a fault. Even though the serve went off to the side and back screen, Mike Cochran still able to generate pace with a drive. Yeah, he can drive from anywhere. He's, uh... uh, go. Hey, come on. Mike Marina with a, with a rare miss. Great with trying to drive. And here's a slower one. Anderson and Stulak are just balling very solid right now. Another left hand drive. Great anticipation. Very often shots like that are just anticipation. Mike Cochran anticipated that uh, Stulak might try to go in behind him against the side screen and just started creeping up. There's a drop shot. Another great drive. It's hard for Stulak and Anderson to read that because Cochran has so much firepower from anywhere. You never really know uh, where he's going to go in the court. Great drive again, great volley. That could have easily been driven. That's why Bill Anderson had so much trouble. He knows he had a little trouble covering that lob because Marino set up as if he was going to drive. So Anderson had to stay on the net and respect the drive before he could go back for the lob. Two games to one in favor of Stulak and Anderson in the third and final set. This is our final day of the 2005 National Championships. 
in this big four-day weekend. Martin and his committee are to be commended for putting together such an outstanding tournament. Oftentimes it can be a scheduling nightmare when you have dozens of matches to play on a limited number of courts in a short amount of time, but uh, I think everyone to a man and a woman this weekend would say they had a great time. And uh, it's a lot of fun to have the tournament here in Pittsburgh. Well, we certainly hope everybody had a good time. Next year the tournament's going to be moving to Chicago. And a lot of the same players will be there. Well, I'm sure Mike Stulak is happy that he was able to get his transportation under control this year. Yeah, last year was really a shame. Uh, uh, the Nationals was in Cleveland, and uh, the night before the tournament, his plane was fogged in in New York. He lives in New York now, works in Manhattan. And um, so he got bumped to the next morning, and uh, but didn't help him because the plane still didn't get out. So he actually... Uh, didn't get the play. Martin, what percent of these uh better players in the country, let's say the top 10 teams, would you say uh, had extensive tennis background? I would say it's a pretty good percentage, but uh, one of the great things about platform is uh, you, you can bring skills from other sports. And very often racquetball players um, adapt to the screens very easily, um, although they usually like to volley with a, with a forehand grip in a windmill fashion. But, uh, Tennis is probably the best game to come from, but uh, as I said before, the learning curve is quick. There are more and more tennis pros uh, getting into the game, though, in the last few years. And uh, quite a few of them end up teaching platform tennis as well in the winter. We now have a teaching association for platform tennis pros, which is fairly recent. Yeah, the PPTA is growing every year. in existence now for six years. Great get by Anderson. Great point. The intensity definitely picking up. You can feel it. Yeah. You can see Marino and Cochran had a lot of great drives that point, but... Uh, not able to, to get it through. I think the location on that serve surprised Cochran. Got handcuffed at the net a little bit. Very often you need to know where your partner's going to hit the ball so you know how to position yourself. I'm not sure what happened there. I think the ball hit the wrist of uh, Cochran at the net. And now Stulak and Anderson lead 3-1. Up a break, third set. The momentum is really switched, but it can switch back again just as quickly. Quick fault to start this game. Another great drive, another great ball. They make it look very easy, but believe me, that ball is really coming at you hard. Anderson missed a very easy overhead there wide, and all of a sudden, love 30. Yeah, he, he went back to the near side. He didn't have a lot of room to put that ball in there. It's a little bit of a risky shot, especially with Marino's forehand if he sees him doing that. But sometimes you try things just to make sure your opponents don't know what you're going to do all the time. Overheads there. Oh, 
little mix up. So even there, as much as Stu like and Anderson play together, they got mixed up on the lob. And still had the reflexes to recover. And there's the blitz by Marino. There's we talked. We talked about that earlier. It's a risky play, but when you make the play, your confidence goes up and the server gets a little more nervous. Stulak and Anderson won that point, but they're not out of the woods, serving at 30-40, break point. We're back on serve. Cochran and Marino will be serving at 2-3 in the third set. Anticipating the drive coming back at him. How about Stulak's return to serve? Yeah, he's really attacked some of the go, serves. Go on, go on. Which is not easy to do when the ball's coming that fast. Cochran has one of the hardest serves in the game. Looked like Stulak hit it back equally as hard. Let's see if he moves his serve. each other, Stulak and Anderson, and Marino had a chance, but seemed to rush it. Yeah, I think he just tried to rush it. He saw he had an opening and uh, tried to take advantage. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't make any difference. Yep. I got it. Yep. Yep. Thank you. 
Cochran seems to do better when he hits his serve all out instead of trying to finesse it. Games are three all in this third and final set of the national championship here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm Whitney Snyder along with Martin Sturgis, our tournament chairman. Couldn't be more exciting, could it, Martin? Yeah, it's really turned out to be a great match, having some great points. It's anybody's match at this point. Drives there, mixing some lobs in, trying to move them off the net. 